This is the 2020 iPad Pro. This is the 2018 iPad Pro. You'd be forgiven for not being able to tell them apart because they look pretty much identical, other than the fact this is an 11 inch model and this is a 12.9 inch model. What does give it away, however, is when you flip them over, you'll see that the new model has a square camera bump. So, how much has it improved over the last one and a half years? Let's go ahead and run some benchmarks and find out. First, the specs. The 2018 iPad Pro has the A12X Bionic chip and 4GB of RAM. You were able to get 6GB of RAM, but only if you got the one terabyte model. And obviously this is the larger 12.9 inch model. For the 2020 iPad Pro, this is the smaller 11 inch model and it comes equipped with the A12Z Bionic chip, 6GB of RAM, as all 2020 iPads do, an improved camera system on back, and a brand new LiDAR scanner. If you're wondering what a LiDAR scanner is, it stands for Light Detection and Ranging. And here it will likely be used for some augmented reality applications. The biggest difference between the A12Z versus the A12X is the extra GPU core being enabled, raising the number of GPU cores from 7 to 8. So, how much faster is the A12Z with 6GB of RAM versus the A12X with 4GB? On to the benchmarks. Let's start by testing the CPU in Geekbench. First, we're going to do the CPU test here. The CPU test just finished up, and as you can see, the scores are very, very close. Probably not statistically significant in their difference. Let's go ahead and run the Compute benchmark. The Compute benchmark just finished up, and as you can see, the 2020 iPad Pro is higher than the 2018 iPad Pro, and it's not as small of a difference as there was in the CPU benchmark. 10,018 versus 9,292. Now let's run some benchmarks that are going to test the GPU cores, starting with Antutu. Antutu just finished up, and as you can see, the 2020 iPad Pro handily took the lead here with a significantly higher score of 758,674 versus 681,630. Let's do some 3D mark testing, starting with Ice Storm. And this test just finished, and it says maxed out. It didn't really give me a score on either one, which uh, hasn't happened to me before. So we'll take it for what it is. They both did excellent. Uh, let's do Slingshot. A bit of a hiccup there. Both iPads actually crashed during the Slingshot test. So we're going to try again. Okay, so it looks like the app crashed again and I can't seem to get it to work. So we're going to just go with what we have. So there you have it. Both the 2020 iPad Pro and the 2018 iPad Pro are super fast. CPU wise, they're pretty much the same. GPU wise, with the extra core enabled in the 2020 model, it does edge out the 2018 slightly, but it's not something that you're going to notice in day-to-day -day use. At least I didn't. It did get higher scores in Antutu and probably would have in 3D Mark had the test finished, but not something really significant, I don't think. The new iPad does have the LiDAR scanner, which I think is pretty gimmicky, at least right now, but hey, maybe it'll be useful in the future. The 4GB of RAM versus 6GB of RAM, I also didn't notice too much of a difference. I felt like the old iPad was still super fast and apps were never really closing out in the background. So if you've got a 2018 iPad Pro and you were feeling bad about the new one coming out, don't. Anyway, that's it for me this time. As always, bite that subscribe button and see you next time.